Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and I hope you have been enjoying all the Disneyland videos. I think this is going to be the last one, if not one of the last ones. And that is my Disneyland haul video. Normally, when I've been in Disney World or Disneyland, we always film these videos at the end of our trips when we're exhausted, super tired in the hotel room. We've been at the park all day and now it's time to pack, but instead we're gonna film a video. I really don't know why we didn't film this video. Oh, I know why, I forgot my tripod. That's why Nicole and I didn't film this video together or anything in the hotel because I completely forgot to pack a tripod to either hold my phone or a camera to film this. So unfortunately, you just get me this time and I have been back from Disney at this point for a few weeks now, so I am well rested. Unfortunately not as exhausted as I usually am in my like Disneyland haul videos. Still thought I would show you guys everything that I bought in Disneyland, so let's just get started. So first I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got at Target. We actually got to go to Target twice on this trip. The first time was the one that is like a 30 minute-ish walk from Disneyland. When we first got to our hotel in Anaheim, we dropped off our bags and then we walked to a place to eat dinner and then the Target was right across the street. Uh, that Target, unfortunately, Unfortunately, I did not find much at all. Honestly, kind of disappointed. But to make a bad situation good, when Nicole and I had our little catastrophe in Los Angeles, which by this point you may have heard about if you watched my previous Disneyland videos, you should be aware that Nicole and I had our catastrophe where we did not know that we needed to get a COVID test to get back into Canada. We knew that we had to get a COVID test once we landed in Canada. Despite reading literally everything that I could possibly find, I did not see anywhere that we needed a COVID test to get back into Canada. I mean, I should have known. It should have been obvious to me, but we didn't know. Turning a bad situation good, we did get to go to Target for a second time, and we went to obviously a different Target because we were in Los Angeles and not Anaheim anymore, and this Target had so much better stuff. I bought way more at this second Target than I did at the Target in Anaheim. I don't have a lot of it actually here with me because most of it I got for like gifts and stuff, but I will show you what I did get for myself. So first thing I got, I got two of these Pixie eyeliners. These are the Endless Silky Eye Pen. I am currently using a very small version of this eyeliner. I use it on my waterline and it is so smooth, so easy to apply, like the best waterline eyeliner Ever. I absolutely love it and this stuff I got at the second Target they did have these at the first Target but not in black they only had it in like dark dark gray which was very close to black but not black so I didn't get it but then again second Target I got two of them we explored the like back to school section of Target like extensively because Nicole's a teacher so she wanted to get so much stuff and I just have to say I don't know if it's like Target or you know what it is Target because I kind of perused the back to school stuff at like Walmart here and they do not have the cool things that Target has for kids going back to school. They had like light up locker magnets, so many things to decorate your locker with, like so much light up glowing backpacks, like all the coolest things in the world. Like I was like, where was this stuff? when I was in school. Out of all the stuff, I did find these things that are so cute. They are clothespin magnets, so they just look like clothespins, but they have magnets on them. And I have a like metal locker kind of a deal at my work, and on there I hang some like personal photos. I got these because I thought they would be so cute to hang like photos or things on my like kind of locker at work. Cause I think they were like $2 each. I bought a pack of stickers, regular day planner stickers, they have like a uh, doctor appointment, don't forget, dollar sign, don't forget to pay, just regular agenda stickers. I love getting things like this at the dollar store and I really loved all the stickers that came in this one, so I picked up that. So this is hilarious and I, I just have to explain it for a second. So literally like the Friday night before we left, this is gonna sound so random, 
but I had a dream where Nicole and I were in Vegas, which is funny because last year when we planned this trip, we were supposed to go to Vegas as well as Disneyland, and then just this year we decided to just do Disneyland. In my dream, Nicole and I were in Vegas. While we were in Vegas, we ran into Max Minghella. I don't know if I'm saying that last name right. I apologize if I'm not, but he's the actor who's in the new Spiral movie. Believe it or not, I actually really enjoy the Saw movies, but I haven't seen Spiral yet, mostly because I didn't want to go see it in theaters, and so I've just been waiting for it to come out on DVD. And so, like I said, in this dream, we met Max Minghella, and we were chatting with him, and he was super nice and super friendly, and I had said that I haven't seen it yet, and so we just happened to be in a store where they sold Spiral and so he bought me a copy and signed it for me. Super random. So weird. I don't even like remember if I've seen this actor in anything else besides like a couple of trailers for Spiral and I mean I have been watching some like spoiler free reviews on Spiral. I mean I've seen videos with him there but it's just so random that he was in a dream of mine. So weird. Because of that dream I was like okay well that's a sign. I need to get Spiral. The Saturday before we left for Disneyland when Nicole and I ran around to like the dollar store in Walmart and got all like the last minute things we needed to get. I looked in Walmart to see if they had Spiral because like I said it was a sign I needed to get it and they didn't have it so I was like oh well that's a bummer we were walking through Target and Nicole was like oh look Jody they have spiral believe it or not it was actually cheaper there than it was on like Amazon back here in Canada so I was like I'm just gonna get it so I got spiral in Target because why not? Then I have a couple of clothing items that I got at Target. I don't have them here with me, but I got a couple of my favorite just plain t-shirts that they sell at Target. I think they're by the brand Isabel, and it's actually a maternity brand, but I really like them because it just has like ruching along the side here to the bottom of the shirt. The purpose of that is that the shirt kind of expands out when you're pregnant, but I just think it re looks really cute, and it's a really cute design to wear even when you're not pregnant. I have so many colors of that exact t-shirt because I literally wear them all the time, and so I just got more because like I said, I wear them all the time and I have a couple that are wearing out because I've worn them so much. So I just stocked up on a couple of those. First thing I got are these plain gray shorts. They're really cute. I might wear them for pajamas or I just might wear them as like around the house. Like if I'm not really going anywhere, just doing like yard work or something. Just shorts to wear around. They're super soft and super comfortable. They have pockets, which is awesome. And then Nicole and I both got these shorts, which are kind of similar. We were completely out of clothes when we had our mini disaster in Los Angeles. And so we needed some new clothes to wear. So we picked up these and literally spent all of Saturday in these in our hotel room watching Hell's Kitchen. It was fantastic. And then I got a gray pullover sweater. This is by the brand Stars Above and this is so freaking soft. I literally just like touched it on the table. It was folded up on it and I was like, yep, I need this. It is so soft. I love the color. This is one of my favorite like clothing colors, just a light gray. It is very light, which is nice. That's everything that I got at Target. And now we're going to get into the fun stuff, which is this, everything I got in Disneyland. The first thing I got because I'm an adult, is a X-Wing. I had to take it out of the box to travel home with it, but I didn't have any scissors, and it is very much tied down to this piece of plastic thing here, and I didn't want to risk wrecking it, so I literally traveled home with it like this. We do have a couple of little things kind of like this in the basement in the movie room, and so I thought this would just be a really cute addition. It actually has like a landing little piece there which will be perfect to actually display it. I think on the box this did say that it is technically Poe Dameron's X-Wing. I was that 28 year old girl in the toy section <laughs> buying an X-Wing but I don't care. I love it and it's gonna look so cool in the basement. Then I got a Grace pullover sweater. I got this at the Star Trader store that is now in downtown Disney. I did see this though in the Tomorrowland gift shop that you enter into when you finish the Star Wars ride. So it was in multiple places. On the front it says Star Wars and then on the back we have a really cool 
photo, one of the original Star Wars posters. There's Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, and then Darth Vader in the background. I absolutely love it. This was one of the first things that I saw because we went to downtown Disney the day we arrived in Anaheim. It was one of the very first things I saw that I was like, I'm gonna get this. This was a very spur of the moment decision t-shirt to get. It is just a kind of orangey color with a glitter Mickey and then at the front it does have kind of like a little cinched bit. I only brought enough clothes for each day that we were there. I usually never do this. I usually overpack so bad because we Disney bounded every single day that we were there. I didn't feel the need to bring anything extra which also shot me in the foot because of having to stay in Los Angeles for two more days. There was one day where I was wearing a t-shirt that actually you know, had sleeves. I think almost every day I wore a tank top except for that one day, which was just not a good idea. I was so hot and it was like dark pink color. That day in particular was the day we did Rise of the Resistance for the first time and we stood in the physical outdoor portion of the line, probably about 20 minutes and it was like one o'clock so the sun was like directly above us like beating down on us and it's really funny because I wanted Nicole to film me like walking into the rise of the resistance queue because I was so excited but just because we were both so hot I feel like I wasn't like acting as excited as I normally would have because it was just so hot we had made the decision that after Rise of the Resistance, we were going to go back to the hotel and just kind of get out of the sun for an hour or two and then go back to the park when it started to cool down. On our way out of the park, we decided to get some Mickey ice creams. Our Mickey ice creams were dripping all over the place and just the chocolate was melting and the chocolate actually melted down onto my shirt. And so the shirt I was wearing got chocolate stains all over it. I already wanted to buy a new shirt to wear back to the park. I just felt so gross leaving the park in that pink t-shirt. But then when I just got all these like chocolate stains and stuff on it I was like yeah I definitely need to get something new it was obviously going to be a tank top so this was my spur of the moment tank top that I bought so that I wouldn't feel disgusting going back to the park later that night and I actually wore it a second time so it did come in handy so when we were planning this trip and I knew I was going to try to not spend a ton of money I made the decision that I was only allowed to buy one spirit jersey. There was a spirit jersey that is very similar to what I'm about to show you, but they had the sweater version of this spirit jersey. And I just knew I would get more use out of a sweater than a spirit jersey. And the sweater was actually cheaper than the spirit jersey. Although I would have loved to have another spirit jersey for my collection, I just knew practically it just made more sense that one, trying to spend a little bit less money on this trip, and two, may as well get something that's less expensive and then I'll wear more often. I got this kind of retro looking yellow Disneyland sweater. I absolutely love this. They did have a spirit jersey that was this color and then it just had this print along the back. I was gonna get that but I found the sweater version and I just loved the sweater so much more than the spirit jersey. I will definitely wear a sweater more often. I really love it. It just feels very like vintage and retro. I absolutely love it. I wish I still had the box for this because the box was actually really cool but in order to get this home it just made more sense to take it out of the box. I found this kind of wire looking Mickey Mouse head. I don't know how to explain it. It is basically a pitcher or note holder. It has a note that it came with. It has these little clips on here that you can clip on photos or notes or anything you want. It has two little spaces in the back for you to hang it on the wall. I have no idea where I'm going to put this yet in my house but I just absolutely loved it and it was only like $25. The very last thing that I have that I got in Disney I am so freaking excited about it. I have said so many times since Galaxy's Edge opened in Disneyland that there is going to be a day or not a single day. There is going to be a time in my life where I am going to drive down to Disneyland and when I'm there I am going to do the entire lightsaber building experience 
And I'm going to do that because then I don't have to worry about bringing a lightsaber home on a plane because I feel like I cannot check that. It wouldn't fit. But then I also feel like if I tried to bring it through security, they would definitely confiscate it. And I've heard that that is really expensive to build these lightsabers. So I'm like, well, I'm definitely not going to build it with there being any sort of chance that TSA or whatever will confiscate it. One day in my life, I will drive down to Disneyland so that I can make a lightsaber and bring it home. However, I found this in the Star Trader store again the very first night we were there and I saw it and I literally like lost my mind. They had Ray's staff, but it is like disassembled and folded up conveniently for travel. I haven't opened it yet because I wanted to open it up on camera and put it together on camera, but I am so excited about this. It was only like $25, so it wasn't super expensive. It is mostly like foam and plastics. Actually, it feels like most of it is foam. For $24, most people would like probably like use this as a toy, but I'm going to display it because I'm an adult. I'm so excited that I found this and now we have something very similar to a lightsaber that we can display in the basement for now until that fateful day when I can drive to Disney and make myself a $200 lightsaber. That's actually pretty cool. So you put it on but then it has like a screw top so that it like screws into place and like it doesn't feel like if you like whack something it's not gonna like break off. Then we have the strap that I'm going to attach. So there we go. We have Ray's staff. I absolutely love it so much. This is so cool. Oh my goodness, I am such a nerd. I love it so much. I cannot wait to display this in the basement along with our new X-Wing. That is everything that I got in Disneyland on this trip. I didn't buy too much. Like I said, I was trying very hard to not buy too much. There was definitely more that I could have bought, but I controlled myself and I didn't, oh, my ears, where did my ears go? I must have put them away already, but I did get uh, this pair of ears. I'll put the on the screen here. I got these ears mostly to wear with my trusty bound, but I did end up wearing them a couple more times. That is everything. Oh, my pins, oh my goodness. My pins got all covered up with the shirts. Oh, goodness gracious. Let me just go through the pins really quickly that I got. So first one I got, this is a limited release one, and this is one that released when Disneyland reopened after being closed because of COVID. And it is Sorcerer Mickey, and it says the magic is back. Disneyland Resort. It is so cute. Absolutely love it. And then this one actually came with two, but I gave the second one to Nicole, kind of as like best friend pins. It was a Todd and Copper pin. So Nicole loves foxes, so I obviously did, gave her Todd and I kept Copper for myself. I just had to get this one because I bound it as her, but I got a Madame Mim pin from the Sword in the Stone. Absolutely love the Sword in the Stone and love Madame Mim. The very last pin I got is this kind of bronzy gold pin. It has the castle there. When you open it up, there's a bronze photo of Walt Disney and it says it's kind of fun to do the impossible with Walt Disney's autograph there. I think I'm done now. I think that's everything. That is everything that I got on this trip to Disneyland. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, I would love if you would like and subscribe. I post new videos every single Friday and I would love to have you here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye everybody.